Hey there! Welcome back. Today we're talking on a topic that's crucial for all of us that care about digital data. I'm talking about the difference between cloud storage and online backup. If you're thinking, aren't they basically the same thing? The answer is, well, not quite. Stick around as I go into detail so you know which is the best place for your data. I'll also share which one I'd personally choose, so stick around until the end. I'll reveal all of my secrets. All right, first, let's address the elephant in the room. What exactly is the cloud? You've probably heard this term a lot, more so since we all began working remotely, but what does it actually mean? It's basically like using someone else's computer. When you upload a file to the cloud, you're actually stashing it on a remote server owned and run by companies such as Google, Amazon, or Microsoft. Think of it like renting a storage unit for your clutter, only instead of driving over to get your stuff, you can access your data as long as you have an internet connection. Easy peasy. Okay. So now we know what the cloud is. Let's look at how it compares to online backup. Now, this isn't like one of your traditional battles where I compare two of the same type of product. You see, although they're similar, cloud storage and online backup do something a little different than the other. And let me, let me put it like this. Cloud storage is like a digital closet. You decide what goes in, how it's organized, and you can easily take things out when you want to. Online backup, on the other hand, is like a time machine for your device. It automatically saves everything on your device. It then creates a copy that you can retrieve if you ever need to recover from data loss. And what's useful about it is you can also choose to run backups continuously or at a date and time that suits you. Still with me? Good. Let's dive a little bit deeper, shall we? Cloud storage services are all about accessibility and in most cases, collaboration. Let's look at some of the main features you can expect to get when signing up for one of our cloud storage services that we frequently recommend here on the channel. Well, first is file syncing. That means you can access files you upload to the cloud on multiple devices. I'm talking desktop, cell phone, tablet. This is great if you have other users on your account or if you need to quickly access document while on the move and you always want to ensure you have the most recent change of that file on all of your devices. So if you make a change at the office, the file gets synced to the cloud, gets synced to your other devices, you leave the office, you come home, you can work on that same document, the state you've left it at the office. Sharing is caring with cloud storage as modern services make it easier for you to essentially send files to others. You can do it in just a few clicks and also control how the recipient or recipients can interact with a file, like being able to view or edit the files as examples. Another useful feature for desktop users is selective storage. You can basically get to choose which files you upload and sync to your computer and which files you only store locally. It's like Packing for a trip, you decide what to take or leave at home. I should note that Selective Sync isn't available with every single cloud storage service, but it is a pretty common feature these days. And if you make changes to a file, which you wish you didn't, there's a feature for that too. I'm talking about version history. It's a feature that lets you go back to an older version of a file and make things return to how you basically want them. If there's one thing about cloud storage that brings the CloudWords team truly together. It's collaboration tools. Most cloud storage services have features built in that let you work with others in real time, no matter where you are sitting. You can leave notes with feedback, make suggestions and get work done as a team. I love that about cloud storage and it really makes our team tick. Before we move on, I can already hear you asking, but what about privacy and security? Well, the most popular cloud storage services have top-notch security, so the risk of something happening to your data is pretty low and limited. Privacy, on the other hand, is a little bit of a mixed bag. 
Some, like Sync.com, put your privacy first and ensure only you get to choose who accesses your data. Others, like Google, don't place a high premium on your personal data privacy and love selling your data on the highest bidder. So when might you choose cloud storage? Working on projects is a good use case. Or anytime you need to access and work with files from more than one device. Finally, when you want to share files, cloud storage is the absolute way to go for you. If you want to prevent losing all your data, including system settings and apps, that's where online backup comes in. Data loss can come from many sources. It might be caused by a hard drive crashing or some run running off with your device, or maybe a car runs over your mobile device. Anything can happen to your data. And hey, it could happen. Without online backup, your data is likely gone forever. Here are some of the features it offers. The first one is automatic backup. These are a real data saver because you can program your backup software to do its thing at specific times. This removes the worry of always needing to remember to do manual backup and think of it as your personal system that's always making sure your data is safe. Next up on the feature list is complete system backup. It's here you'll see a noticeable difference compared to cloud storage. You see, unlike cloud storage, online backup saves everything on your device. That includes apps, system settings, and your OS file. So if you need to factor or reset your device, you can restore your exact system settings with its backup and running. Obviously, it depends on the online backup service. Now, there are cloud backup services that include backing up of system files, some exclude system files specifically. There are different flavors of it, so to speak. Online backup has its own type of version history as well. For example, let's say you want to restore your data back to a specific point in time. You can do this with online backup. This is useful if you accidentally delete apps or files you wish you really hadn't. Have you ever heard of a term called bare metal restore? Well, if you haven't, don't worry, it's not some type of experimental music only found at underground parties. It's actually a cool feature that lets you restore your system to a brand new device. It's like upgrading without having to start from scratch. And most of these bare metal restore features are offered by business cloud backup services, but more and more consumer services offer these too as they see more people really needing to restore their files. The last core feature I want to share with you is archiving. Some online backup services let you store files even if you no longer have them on your device. For example, if you have an old video project that's taking up space, move it over to the archive. Who doesn't want their own personal digital attic, right? Security and privacy with online backup providers are very similar to cloud storage. Security at the most reputable services is as good as it gets. On the other hand, privacy policies are in your corner or serve the provider's needs. Take iDrive. It has excellent privacy with the option to enable private encryption when you sign up. CrashPlan, on the other hand, isn't as good with privacy and does not have zero knowledge encryption. That's a bummer. Another thing to consider with online backup is that it tends to be slower than cloud storage, particularly with uploads. If the total size is large enough, it could take hours or even days. With cloud storage, uploads and downloads often happen in minutes. Also, online backup, with a few exceptions, isn't meant for file sharing or collaboration. It's more like a digital security blanket for your data in case disaster happens. So when do you choose online backup? I'd say when you have data you don't want to lose or if you're faced with ransomware or device failures. And let's face it, these are all valid concerns and real possibilities, especially for businesses it can cost them millions or even cause bankruptcy in some cases. Now, I hear some of you asking, can I just use both? Yeah, yeah, sure you can. In fact, I and other tech experts recommend using both cloud storage and online backup for maximum protection and data flexibility. There's also the 3 to one backup rule, which I've explained here in this channel before and also on cloudwords.net. So I also recommend a physical backup somewhere else not only relying on the cloud. Yes, that's me saying having a channel about cloud storage and a website about cloud backup 
you also need another copy of your files physically on another hard drive. That's the best. Think of it like this. Cloud storage is your everyday bag. It has the items you, you use regularly and, and lets you access them quickly. Online backup, on the other hand, is like an insurance policy. It's there if you need it, but you really hope you, you never really have to use it. But trust me, the day will come you will have to use it. A quick note on the cost of services. It's a tricky one because how much a service will cost highly depends on how much storage you need. And generally though, cloud storage is cheaper than online backup if you're only working with a with small amounts of data. On the other hand, online backup can provide more bang for your buck for large data sets. And I'll drop a link in the description to some of my favorite options so you can compare prices and eventually make a decision for what's the best for your needs. And obviously, if you're like a business, then things tend to get a little bit more pricier because you have other uh, security factors and other things um, that you need to consider. Now, I know we've covered a lot of ground here, but um, here's the thing. Whether you choose cloud storage, online backup or both, you're already ahead of the game. You're taking steps to protect your digital life. And that's a very smart move. Remember, the best option is the one that fits your specific needs. Do you often collaborate on projects? Then cloud storage is your best bet. Don't worry about it. If you worry about losing all your data, then go with an online backup provider. And also remember that you can and probably should use them both for the best protection and accessibility. What's your next move? Well, I advise taking note of what type of data you want to back up and how you would like to interact with that data. Then go sign up for an account and try them out yourself. Most of them have free service plans available or free trials. Let me know in the comments what you go for. I'm super interested to hear your thoughts and comments. And if you found this video helpful, please, as always, hit the like button, subscribe. This will help the channel. And also let me know what other content you'd like to see. I'm looking forward to reading your thoughts and ideas and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.